welcome to the 360 Traveler and I'm uh, in the garden of Tra Simeon, close to the main street of uh, Lovdiv, so in the center of Lovdiv. And uh, I'm on my way to uh, get a PCR test to be able to go to Turkey tonight. So I'm gonna have to find uh, a university hospital where the test is uh, affordable and uh, I don't know, that's the only thing I found online anyway, like 70, uh, um, of the, the local money, Lev, Leva, and, uh, which is like 25 euro, but anyway, like, in the meantime, I just want to, I just saw this, your lake or a big swimming pool, I don't know. Coming close to it, it looks more like a like a swimming pool than a lake. And I thought I might just make a little video. And then keep on filming along the way. Uh, <coughs> I'm also starting oh, okay I cannot come. I'm also starting to. Fuck you up. Bitch. Can't see the security guy. Does he have something to do? They can be proud because we did some work. Good job. Anyway, so um, I was saying, swimming in the lake is strictly prohibited. Well, I and mean, it's pretty much impossible because it looks like it's 10 centimeters high. Make it a little tricky to swim in the lake. Oh, that camera reads 30 centimeters high. <clears throat> oh, wow, that's a pretty nice cafe here. Very nice. Good place to take a nap. Good place to take a nap. I'm going to stay here for too long because of the music. If you don't buy get blocks on YouTube. So yeah, I'm gonna take a PCO test. Uh, but I was just looking at the news and I just well on the internet and I just figured that we have to take a PCO test until 31st of August. Today is the first of September. Uh, so maybe an antigen test is enough. Uh, and a month ago, uh, when I traveled to Athens from Singapore, all I needed was a, an antigen test. But just to make sure, I still took a PCR test and, uh, and spent an extra 100 Singapore dollars. Um, 60, 70 euro, and uh, I would have been happy to save money to be honest. So, this time, if I could just save this short test, even if it's cheaper, I'll be like happy to. But uh, I could not confirm 
this information from anywhere. That's all I need from uh, today. It's an antigen test. So once again, uh, I'm going to take a PCR test and spend extra money. But this time, since an antigen test in the lab is 30 leva, 15 euro, uh, and apparently 70 leva for PCR test, um, 35 euro. So I'll just be losing 20 euro. So that is much as a big deal. Yeah, I was just, I just wanted to say I was, I started to uh, listen to Pimsleur Turkish. So I'm trying to start to learn some Turkish. I wanted to start a while ago, but uh, I'm just starting now. I think the first of specific month it's, it's a good day and uh, I'm gonna reach Istanbul if everything goes as planned tomorrow morning if I can leave tonight I can finish like all the paperwork and make my test take my test and if my test is negative then <clears throat> I should arrive in Istanbul tomorrow morning they did for three months and I really want to learn some of the language. It was a very, very hard language. And uh, I'm not as good as I used to do all languages. Yes. I'm not as motivated as I know at this time. Uh, I guess it's pretty useful. Unless I decide to spend a couple of months every couple of years. So which pretty much done with the year so it was a good compromise between Europe and Asia. Actually uh halfway between between Europe and Asia. Yeah I'd had it in my my right ear so I could hardly uh, hear myself speaking since I was listening to Turkish but gosh I just started like for 5-10 minutes listening to Turkish lessons and it's really hard it's really hard the Pimsleur method is basically Oh, that's a nice house. The Pimster method is just by listening, but you don't have to read anything. But the problem is that even if Turkish, oh, it started again now. Even if, uh, is it? Okay. Even if Turkish is written in uh, the Latin alphabet since 1917, I think. Um, <clears throat> before it was written in the, the Arabic alphabet, it's still a language you better see written. Why not? Especially because it's in, in Latin alphabet, so it's it's easy to read. I mean, <clears throat> probably not that easy to read because uh, I don't think it's. I'm not really sure, but I don't think it's right as as you speak it. Then you just listen to it and you can already imagine how it's written. But if in Turkish there is something new and probably, um, yeah, you gotta check that, but I'm not really sure if uh, there are like some mute sounds like in, in Korean 
or many other languages. I'm not sure about Hungary, and I, I used to learn it. If I learned, I've been learning. Yeah, I used to learn Hungarian too many years ago, and then I forgot most of it. Uh, <clears throat> and honestly, I forgot if in Hungarian you write uh, everything exactly as it sounds or oh, not. I'm, I'm talking about Hungarian because Hungarian and, and Turkish have some similarities. I mean, they are related, not extremely related, but quite related. They both are really all languages. Hungarian supposedly being even harder, harder grammar. Even they, they even sound quite similar. So now you get to see. Right here, I'm taking the right direction. You get to see the plug there. The non-touristic plug there. Just you know. You can see the Bulgarian uh, city. Uh, I'm not gonna jump all the way to the hospital because it's like the hospital is like four kilometers away from my hostel. Um, which would be like surprisingly far for new one uh, I don't know some uh, many places around the world where like walking more than uh, 10 minutes is crazy but in Europe we do walk quite a bit we can walk like for half an hour one hour without even thinking about it but maybe it's because it's not as hot <laughs> As many other places, so if you take uh, Singapore or Thailand, well, maybe we get a better reason not to walk for more than not one hour for more than 10 minutes at a time or something because it's always very, very hot here. Uh, so you don't really want to walk uh, in this time for an extent an extensive period of time. <coughs> oh, shit. So this is I mean, we're still in summer now. Depending if summer starts uh, on the 1st of September or uh, Autumn start on the 1st of September or 21st of September. But, uh, yeah. Well, 
flowers over here. That's cool. Get Alain Delon. Started filming here. So I've already been filming for 15 minutes because I went to run a lake. So I'm gonna film for maybe not another 15 minutes because there's not much to see here. I only regret that I didn't take a lot of uh, videos in, in Sofia. I stayed here for eight days. And, uh, I only took four videos. I only took four videos, and, uh, five videos, and one of them got corrupt, corrupted because yeah, that was a good one. Because I guess. She was just coughing, like, nowadays it's like, it's actually better when you fart than when you cough, but I just, there are not a lot of people here, but <laughs> don't fucking cough in my face, like, thank you very much. Um, yeah. This is pretty boring, so... What's going on here? Yeah, there's not really any way to report that. I could have taken a different way out of the park. Yeah, that's what I, I did wrong. That's what I could have done. Well, there is um, another park in Vienna, like, walk beside in the bed, so maybe I could keep on walking there, you know. But yeah, that's, that's when I, I missed the... Uh, Right by the lake. Uh, we have to get a different way. Um, and just like hang out in the small streets. That's one thing. That's one. For the sake of making a more interesting video, um, I'm gonna take a different rod. I just restarted the pedestrian walk toward, and uh, it's giving me a different rod. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'm not gonna make a second video all the way to the hospital thing. Too many videos. Of <sighs> At least I'm gonna take a more interesting path now. So I have 10 minutes to go. Uh, then I'm gonna walk across the park. 
it's gonna be 32 minutes uh, well like 31 minutes rather than um, 28 but <laughs> way worth it way worth it because okay. now you get to see how <laughs> Uh, a post communist country looks like how Bulgaria looks like. Uh, outside of the center of the old town. I mean, they probably something like a post communist country because. Probably a lot of them look different, but some of them do look similar to That's good for me also to, to walk around. Something I wouldn't have done if I didn't have to make this is your test. The two times I went out of my way, uh, I went away from the where I stayed in the center, was to go to the supermarket to Lido, which was about 20 minutes uh, away walk. That this walk is just a tiny bit longer. <laughs> but it's good that I do have a reason to go where I'm going now. And uh, in the morning, uh, it's surprisingly cold. Uh, here. Alright, I'm going to water pop. I guess I needed this as well. Look at that. It's a pretty cool area. It's pretty nice building. I like this nice building. With like large balconies. Modern, but with uh, kind of an ancient look. And uh, here we go. Well, that's, that's not a park at all. It's like a. Uh, <laughs> Makes sense. Alright. Well, if that's the way, okay. In a bit, I'm 
we're gonna enter. Okay, that, that's pretty plain. Let's try to go to the middle. So I didn't call the hospital and I'm really hopeful that they do still have the tests going on, supposedly in the parking uh, of the hospital from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. From Monday to Friday, today is Wednesday. So hopefully it's still going on. If it's not, then I'm gonna have to find a plan B, which I don't have yet. Finding a different place for the test. Come on, Google. Google map, where are we now? So I'm that I'm still gonna have some time to show you inside. Inside the park, inside the, the hill. Or oh, I'm gonna have to make a second video. <laughs> yeah, so after all, I might. <laughs> what do I do here? It's better to. Oh gosh. People take shit here. Alright, it's a bit nicer here. As long as I'm going toward the right direction. Oh gosh. No, there's a, a barrier here. Okay. Well, you know how much I like to trespass. If you've seen the video from the beginning, fortunately, the security guard. Why the lake was not too much of a pain. They didn't tell me anything afterwards. Um, I like this kind of <laughs> like Soviet staircases. It's pretty fun if you want the world laden. Use your skateboard to go down. Is it actually the way? All right. Well, that's the way. Oh. I'm just gonna use this path anyway. So it's easier to walk when there's no staircases there, especially when they're like super tiny, long but not though, not high. Okay. Pretty cool. Well, that wasn't expected. Wow, that's that. Should be a pretty nice hike. Go around here. Maybe I should make a whole video. Maybe I should go now. I'm going to take my PCR test later. What do you think? Well, on the map, um, there's no apparent way to it. That's actually one of my goal. To go like for a little hike. Alright, it's gonna stop. Thanks for watching, guys. It was a 360 Traveler. Just subscribe. It's a pretty cool channel. Guys, if you wanna see more of that, uh, subscribe.